Hello and welcome to the course Industrial Robotics Theories for Implementation. So when we start thinking about robots, something that comes to our mind is very much like this, which is nothing but a full-fledged humanoid robot. So what we see here, it has a full torso, it has a head with an eye, it has an arm, arm consists of actuator and a link, actuator and a link and so on and so forth. Finally it terminates and it also has a gripper with which it can do most of the tasks that is there in day to day life, right? So this is a kind of robot which is what we can think of very easily when we talk about robots, right? So in this course what we will be covering is mostly about industrial robots. The way industrial robots are built is very much like one of the arm which is here, right? So those arms has just the link joint, link joint and a gripper so that it can do day to day life which is there mostly in the industry. So in our course we will deal about the mechatronics aspects of such robots. So it consists of actuators, sensors, the technologies there, the mathematics which are behind, right? So how they are constructed, how they are formulated, mathematical foundations, right? So apart from standard UG, PG curriculum which are there, we'll start with mechatronics aspects of this such robots which fits very much to this kind of robot as well as to industrial robots of various other kinds as well. So let us see how an industrial robot looks like. So we'll go there, right? So let us come. So, so let us talk about this robot. This is what which is going to be present in most of, of, of this course content. So this is there in industry most of the time, small or big. So they are normally grouted to the ground, unlikely they are mounted normally over the shoulder of humanoid. So this is there which is permanently grouted to the ground. Sometimes they are on the linear rail which uh, about which we will be talking about. So they have uh, normally you see you have a actuator, you have a gearbox, you have uh, encoder also. So all together it is an assembly which is a joint which is known as joint. It has joint, it has a link, it has a joint, it has a link, just like humanoid arm. So it also has a end effector that is a two fingered gripper which is there. It can be a welding electrode, it can be anything else. So this kind of robot which is there in the industry, we'll talk about this in this course, forward kinematics, inverse kinematics, control aspects, mechatronics aspect that is the joints, their actuators their sensors which are finally creating a closed loop and making it run. So we'll talk about this robot in this course where we'll be dealing with practical understanding how they are installed, how they are put to use, what are the technical specifications that goes behind uh, actually specifying this robot when you actually buy this robot or you demand from your company, yes, I need this robot that uh, for a particular application, right? So. We'll talk about actuator, we'll talk about sensor. Let us go to one such kit now. Okay, come on. So in this course, we'll also cover various kinds of actuators. This is one such kit that we have in our lab. So we'll talk about DC motor, we'll talk about BLDC motor, we'll talk about stepper motor, various kinds of stepper motor like unipolar motor, a bipolar motor, we'll talk about servo motor. Induction motor is also there, but that, that, that doesn't go into industrial robots. So primarily we'll talk about mostly these kinds of motors in this course. So we'll also talk about various kinds of sensors also, which finally make a closed loop so as to control these motors position, velocity and various other things like torque also. So let us go to the sensors also. So in this course, when we'll talk about sensors, we'll talk about various kinds of sensors like uh, position sensors like proximity sensors and various other kinds of sensors that are mostly fitted to the robot in order to create various inputs and outputs in the industry. They are not just fitted in the industry on the robot, but they are also there in the peripherals as a peripherals of the robot. So we'll discuss various types of sensors that actually goes into the industry rather than just in an robot because the robot has to interface the sensors in various other ways also. So we'll talk about this in our course. Let us go back to the robot where I'll discuss the course details. So you see uh, this course basically contains contents about UG, PG and standard academic syllabus. Apart from that you see 
we will discuss mostly about the implementation aspects of industrial robots what uniqueness that we are going to deliver is when this robot is put to use you see uh, this comes with a bare flange right so when you add on a tool it has to be calibrated when you put this to use on a new work floor you see the floor is different so you have to calibrate that as well so what we'll discuss very much in detail are the implementation aspects of this robot rather than just the design aspects which consists of forward kinematics inverse kinematics controls and various standard curriculum the audience could be a standard academician it can be a researcher they can be from the people from industry industrial people uh, they seek to enhance their knowledge by adding the implementation aspects of industrial robots so that will be covered very much in detail prerequisite can be as basic as standard mathematics that what uh, k12 students or students from standard uh, schooling has just passed out so it, if they are conversant with trigonometry is a bit of calculus said that should be quite good enough so they can be as good as a first year engineering students so prerequisite is not much so i am excited to teach this course so hope you are equally excited hope you all to join this course not just as a student as a learner you also appear for the exam and finally you become one of the finest engineer in robotics who can not just know the basics of robotics who can also implement robots to industrial use that's all so see you in the course thanks a lot